Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel where I talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content. Today we're checking out my Noble Collection. Collection. I don't know if you guys get that, but basically my whole collection of the Noble Collection brand items. Let's just get started because this is actually a video a pre-video of my whole collection which is coming out this Saturday. If you guys are new here, definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm coming out with a video of my whole collection. It's gonna be a lot longer and basically it's gonna detail each and every piece that I have and own, where I got it, how I got it, how much it cost, if I remember it correctly. But this is a little portion of it. I'm just gonna guys I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my noble collection collection. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I don't know if I'm gonna call it my Noble Collection collection. I think I'm just gonna call it like uh, my Noble Collection, right? My Noble Collection of Collections. My Noble Collection of Noble Collection. It's just gonna fry my brain. So I'll deal with that later on, but for now, if you guys are new here, definitely subscribe to my channel because I talk about everything Harry Potter content related um, as well as theme parks. Fun fact is that this Monday, this Monday that just passed actually, the hot butter beer is back in town. The season has just started. We're finally into the more favorable season that I like, uh, which is Christmas and all of that. So I'm very much excited to go to the parks and see all the lights and decorations. And let's just go ahead and just get this started, get this video started. But fun fact, if you guys have never tried it out, um, the hot butter beer, definitely go ahead and check it out. It's my top two favorite, uh, right behind the frozen butter beer. I love my frozen drinks. But let's just forget about all that. Today we're talking about collections. We're talking about the Noble Collection collection. And let's start with my all-time favorite um, item. You guys should have seen this one coming. It's the Slughorn Hourglass. I love this Slughorn Hourglass so much. Um, I try at the very most to like flip it around before every video. But now since it is in the shelf, I normally just leave it there. This I actually did not buy from the Noble Collections themselves. I actually got this in offer up. I forgot how much. I believe it was $20 or something like that. But yeah, it was an amazing piece. And it's just amazing to like this is actually one of my more favorable um, noble collection items just because of like it's green I love the color green and it's just like come on it's an hourglass like it's kind of like uh, like a lava lamp of the past so like you would see a lava lamp and you just stare at it like watch the little bubbles this is kind of like that except that it's sand and it's a green sand so uh, I believe roughly is about an hour, 45 minutes, something like that for the whole sand from the top to go down to the bottom. It's not an exact estimate, but it's a rough one and we appreciate that. So this is definitely my very favorite one, but I'm going to go ahead and put a direct link to each video that I did of an unboxing of, of each item in the bottom of my description. So that way you guys can go ahead and check out a specific item that you really got, that you guys really like. And that way you guys can focus on that just one item because I did do a video of literally almost every item that I have in this thing. This one is very special to me. Not because it's, I like glue or anything like that, but it's actually opened up. If you guys see the box is not supposed to be like this, it actually opens up completely. And the reason why, this is a little sneak peek of the Saturday video of my whole bookshelf collection. But if you guys can see, right here no one knows about this but right here there's a little stick that holds the box like opens halfway just so that way it could fit in my shelf and it's just amazing as a little hidden secret for you guys there for Saturday's video since you guys are gonna be watching my whole collection not just the noble collection but just everything in general that I have in the bookshelves that is one thing that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys as well is that my little hidden secrets I've gotten a lot of messages about how I kept this opened like halfway and they're kind of wondering why so this is a little hidden secret that I've done and yeah you could it's an actual uh, tiara let me go hopefully I can open this and guys fun fact this is actually a wearable tiara diadem whatever you guys like to call it and you can actually wear it wait hold on hopefully it click boom can you see it it's on my head uh, but yeah, you can wear it. It's I wouldn't recommend it because it's more like a like prop item that you can just have in the in the shelf. But it's an amazing item. 
and one for the box is actually really beautiful the gemstones are really nice and if you guys like I said earlier want to go ahead and check these out at a much closer depth um, I do have a video on it so go ahead and check out my unboxing of this amazing item one of my favorites is none other than the triumphant golden egg it's an amazing prop and I wish it opened it does not open uh, but it is an amazing piece. It's pretty heavy and made really heavy like you can really knock someone out with this if you really throw it especially as a football But it doesn't open unfortunately, but you can see hopefully the camera can catch this Come on. You can see like the beautiful detail. Oh my god. The beautiful details of the egg and funny enough the details are made by Mina Lima so Big props to that company. They are amazing. And yeah, it's a golden egg. And yeah, it doesn't open heavy. It comes with a stand. So yeah, golden egg number three. All right, guys. So <sighs> all right. So I didn't want to go ahead and actually unbox this again, but just to go ahead and show you guys. Oh my God, they destroyed my box. Just to go ahead and show you guys, this is Rubius Hagrid's umbrella that you guys obviously see from the first movie. But not only do I have this one, but I do also have uh, Lucius Malfoy's cane with the wand. Uh, you guys could also go into my channel and look it up because I don't want to go ahead and take it off of the mount. I do have it mounted on the wall and I don't want to take it out unfortunately. So. If you guys want to see an actual unboxing and like more in-depth video of that, go ahead and check it out. Um, I would, pro I'll probably put it on my description, just like each of these items. But every every single item that I'm showing you guys is on my channel, so go ahead and watch that. All right, and here it is. You guys can go ahead and see the umbrella from here. I don't want to take it out completely, but this is just a quick little video. For you guys if you guys want to see everything and me opening it and all of that it's in my channel all right so and i'm probably gonna mount this up on the wall as well i'm probably gonna give it some space with the lucius malfoy's cane over there but yeah this is the next item to go ahead and get mounted on the wall i already bought the mounts funny enough i'm actually mounting my tv so i went to home depot and got some l brackets uh, if you guys want to want me to show you guys how I mount stuff, you guys can go ahead and comment down in the comments and I'll be more happy to go ahead and show you guys how I mount my stuff on the wall. And yeah, let's go on to the next item. Alright, next item is actually a two for one special because I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about both items at the same time. Not because they were sold at 50% off or anything crazy like that. But this is the Tom Riddle Diary with the di uh, with the Basilisk Fang. I was about to say with the Diadem Fang. But with the Basilisk Fang. And it goes directly in the middle. The actual diary itself is not an actual diary. It's made out of ceramic. And you guys can see me. Hello but it's not an actual uh, journal so don't think it's an actual diary but it's just a little prop and obviously the diadem oh see i said diadem <laughs> the actual basilisk fang goes directly through it and it just looks super cool in a display case it has like the tom riddle name tom marvolo riddle so you guys don't get it mixed up with his dad and this is if you guys remember from the order of the phoenix i believe I already have my movies wrong, but <laughs> this is the uh, prophecy orb that Harry Potter and Voldemort were actually fighting for. And here it says, "There's a little, oh my God, there's a little tag that comes with it, and it says SPT to APWBD, Dark Lord and Harry Potter?" Question mark. Hmm. All right. So, and it comes with the little stands as well, and it has three little basilisks that I thought they were actually uh, dragons and one of my subscribers, one of you guys actually went ahead and told me that they were basilisks. So thank you so much for clarifying that for me. And yeah, it's just a regular orb that just goes on top and it just stands there. And I have these two items specifically in my dark arts section 
to go ahead and just give it that awesome theme of darkness and evil. Let's go ahead into the next item. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure I'll find it. All right, and this is one of my favorites, actually one of my first that I bought. And if you guys know what this is, this is the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, depending, of course, on where you are. In the UK, they do call it the Philosopher's Stone because they're fancy. Over here in America, we call it the Sorcerer's Stone. And it's just an amazing gem. Uh, it's not really a gem, guys. Don't, don't think you're buying a gem. Um, it's just a piece of rock. It doesn't even look like rock, it looks more like glass. And funny enough, in pictures and online, they look like it's ruby, but I could give you guys a clear description that it looks like Coca-Cola color, like a light Coca-Cola color. They, it looks like they infused Coca-Cola inside this piece of glass and they called it the Sorcerer's Stone. Funny enough, they actually put here the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm guessing if you buy if you buy it from the Noble Collection UK, it's gonna say the Philosopher's Stone. Don't know that, but just my little, you know, educated guess here. <laughs> and it does come with this bowl, basically, and you know you could touch it. Oh my God! And you could like just hide it. Fun fact: it took me way longer to go ahead and close this up and have the rock like balance itself in the middle. Just because it was impossible to balance and you have to like literally screw both sides and hold the, the, the rock in the middle at the same time. So it was a very big mission that I had to do here. It wasn't just any regular unboxing. And if you guys want, you can like, you guys could go ahead and leave it without the glass or you could put the glass to make it look fancy. So I like the fanciness of the nostalgia feeling of like, oh, this is like a secured thing. Like no one's supposed to touch it. So I keep it with the glass, obviously, and why would I keep it without the glass? Because it came with the glass, so meaning that they should be together. So I do believe that that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my whole collection of wands. I know you guys, some of you guys love wands and love like all the collections. I don't have that many, but I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to name them and show you guys and how I got them, where I got them and all of that sort. All right, and this is basically it so let me go ahead and show you guys Ooh, hopefully it doesn't fall all right and like i promised you guys it wasn't that much it's not a lot um so starting off really quickly is the olivanders is the olivanders wand it's interactive and i believe it's this one here um this isn't an actual collector's edition wand as in like a collector's wand or i'm sorry a character's wand and oh funny enough it is right here is uh, I believe um, elder wood or something like that, olive wood, something like that. I don't know, but it's not a character wand. It's just an Ollivander's original, and it's interactive. So it comes with the the map for Diagon Alley, and not only Diagon Alley. Actually, before I ramble on about the map, you can buy this in Universal in either Diagon Alley or Hogsmeade. Comes with the map if you do get an interactive one just so I can show you guys where to go ahead and cast the spells for the interactive wand. All right, this is my first ever wand. This is a Snape wand, very fancy, black, with a really cool uh, design. This is Harry Potter's wand, Voldemort, Professor Snape's, which I just showed you, and Professor Dumbledore. Professor Dumbledore wand is the most famous one Aside from Harry Potter's, obviously, because the Elder Wand, the most powerful wand in the whole wizarding world. Really cool wand. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite wands, just because, obviously my favorite wand is Snape's wand, but just because of, like, it's the most powerful wand in the wizarding world. And it's one of the longest ones too. You guys go ahead and check that out, it's really awesome. Um, I did buy this one actually in Universal, so this one, this one I actually bought in Universal, as well as um, the Snape wand. Now Harry's and Voldemort, I did buy on offer up for $20, um, both, both, both of them for $20, super cool, super awesome, and you guys know Voldemort's, you guys know Harry's, so I don't really need to open those two, but yeah, this is one, two, three, four, five, six wands, and that'll be a wrap on today's video, I hope you guys liked, if you guys did, go ahead and smash that like button, if you guys are new here, subscribe to my channel, where I talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content, and just go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you guys want to go ahead and check out my whole collection of 
the whole bookshelf because that's gonna happen that video is gonna go up live on this channel on Saturday so go ahead and hit that notification bell so I got you, you guys could be the first ones to get that notification of when the video is live and like I said I love you guys and that is it for me today peace out